Hello, Meoni here, and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV. Today I wanted to talk about one of my, well, one of my new favourite features, not the favourite, but one of my new favourites, which is the new combo system uh, of displaying those combos on classes that perhaps you're not familiar with or things that you're not entirely sure how work. Uh, for example, with me, it would be Dragoon to some extent and mostly Monk, right? A lot of those jobs I don't really touch. And there's a way that I can get around that without having to go externally to other websites, whilst that's still obviously, you know, a promoted idea, a good idea to do, to know how to min-max your character, especially if you're going to think about going into Savage or anything like that. One of the things that you can find though, if you go to the actions and traits window, which is under character, if you're a new player or whatever, or a veteran, for example, um, just simply go to the actions section. And on the bottom right, there's where it says compact view, switch view. This will actually show you not only the abilities that you can drag to your bars, as you can see, you can drag those on, but it'll show you what they combo with. This is incredibly useful, and I really wish this was around much earlier in the game, at least when I started playing, right? Because this allows you to pick up a job and go, right, how does this work? What combos with this? Of course, you could learn normally. You could go up to a monster and just press a button and then, you know, another button will light up, right? It's, it's fairly obvious to some degree. But having a good idea, you know, beforehand, or at least figuring things out, knowing that after you press tree thrust, you have those two choices of disembowel or vorpal thrust, for example, and what those chain to, to heaven's thrust or chaotic spring. You can press the upgrade button to see what those upgrade to at what levels. It says actions registered high on the list are upgraded to those below them with the acquisition of traits. So as you level, you know that a certain trait will upgrade the actions combo. And that shows you how that works. And you can scroll down and see how other things work together. Now this is basic information, but it's information that's going to make the entire game a better place. One of the things that can be obviously criticized about Final Fantasy XIV is the idea that they push you towards going into the Sage's, um, you know, newcomer trial system thing, um, you know, going through the Adventurer Guild and, and working out things that way. But a lot of the time when you're doing the Smith's activities, you're not actually learning anything about your your job, right? Your role. So having this in the game is incredibly useful. Incredibly useful. For example, I know very little about Monk. If I switch to Monk and I have the this view on, it will show you what unlocks with the various different forms, right? But it's a stance-based job. So it teaches you a particular mar uh, martial stance is required to execute, apply additional effects of these actions. So we've got Oppo Oppo form, Raptor form, and Coil form, and all of this stuff combos together. As you can see, Boot Shine, Dragon Kick, Shadow of the Destroyer, shows you the upgrades. This is a much better way of actually having things displayed than traditionally like this. Just, here's a million items uh, on your on your screen, put them on your bars and try and figure it out. This is so much better. This is gonna make people like myself who are admittedly veteran players, but ones that don't really get certain jobs, gives them a little bit more of an advantage and tells you what things are unassignable, what is assignable, what combos with what. It's much clearer with simpler jobs like Red Mage, for example, much more basic of how those things work. But for advanced things where you have actual rotations like, I don't know, like Monk specifically, or Samurai is a great example, for example. People starting out with Samurai might go, holy moly, what's all of that stuff, right? Whereas they can switch the view now and go that, oh, Hakaze goes into Jimpu, which gives you Gekko, and, you know, vice versa, Fuko into uh, Mangetsu or Oka. And there's the weapon skills, and there's your other abilities, your off-globals, etc., right? Same with, with Black Mage. Now, with Black Mage, I think that they could have done a little bit of a, a better job with showing you the basic um, building of uh, meters and things. They could have done a slightly better job, but it is fairly self-explanatory as well. Uh, Dancer, it's nice to see. But again, these are a lot easier sort of things. So you're not going to need help with everything, you know? But it is nice to see that you have the option. Like Ninja is another one that I, I struggle with sometimes. 
But, you know, this is a nice little thing. Now, this isn't the be-all and end-all. It is still advised for you to look around on the internet or, alternatively, in the game, you know, talk to other people or just trial and error, right? But you're going to be able to min-max your character a lot easier with a step-up. You'll be like, ha, huh, so what does that combo with again? At least this way you know. And if you're starting out at level 1 and you get to, like, level 26 or whatever, you know in the order of which you might want to put things on your bars, right? Because some people like to have one, two, three set up to a combo or, you know, vice versa. That's a much better feature. And I think that 6.2 really did ref uh, revolutionize how we're going to look at future content. Perhaps they're going to even update this further. I would in the future like to see another tab entirely with um, base rotations, just the most basic rotation. Although, how much do you want to see them go down this rabbit hole? Do you want to see them list an idea of some rotations or would you prefer people, uh, you know, make guides on that and, um, you know, people discover that themselves? It's a tough one, isn't it? Because I personally think after going in Party Finder for so long, people are not optimal. They never will be. But this is a good way of making it so that they have some tools at least at their disposal in the right direction. Anyway. Let me know what you think about these changes. I think they're obviously quite positive, and I will see you all next time. Let me know what your favorite feature of 6.2 is. Maybe it's completely different. All right, much love. Enjoy the rest of your day. More 6.2 goodness on the way, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.